What if you made the discovery of a century, but someone else got all the credit? This is the true story of Rosalind Franklin. In the 1950s, scientists were racing to answer a big question. What is the shape of DNA, the instruction book for all living things? A scientist in London named Rosalind Franklin had a special skill. She used X-rays to take pictures of tiny molecules. In May 1952, she took an amazing picture of DNA. It was called Photo 51. The photo showed a clear X shape. This was a huge clue. It proved that DNA was a spiral, like a twisted ladder. At the same time, two other scientists, James Watson and Francis Crick, were trying to build a model of DNA, but they were stuck. Now this is where the story changes. In January 1953, one of Franklin's colleagues showed Photo 51 to James Watson. This was done without Franklin's permission. For Watson, seeing the photo was the final piece of the puzzle. He and Crick now had the proof they needed. They rushed to publish their model of the DNA double helix in April 1953. Sadly, Rosalind Franklin died from cancer in 1958 at the age of 37. In 1962, Watson, Crick, and Franklin's colleague were given the Nobel Prize for the discovery. Because she had passed away, Franklin could not share the prize, and her key role was barely mentioned. For a long time, her work was forgotten. But today we know the truth. Without her and her Photo 51, one of the biggest discoveries in science would not have happened when it did. She is the true unsung hero of DNA.